Hello, welcome to the U of How To. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how uh, this new Meet Attendance extension works and um, just a, a few of the nice features that it has. Okay, and I, I think it's pretty helpful. So if you don't have the extension already, you'll want to go to the uh, Chrome uh, Web Store. Oops. And we want Meet Attendance. Oh. Okay, so I'll turn that Meet Attendance back on now. So I use Extensify, it's another Chrome extension, um, and it just quickly lists all of your extensions and gives you a quick way to turn it on or off. Okay, so I can turn my Google Meet Attendance on and uh, Google Meet Grid View works with attendance, this Grid View fix, okay? So if you don't have Google for Education Enterprise, you'll want to have uh, Google Meet Grid View fix, okay? Um, the, the Meet attendance relies on a Grid View. So whether it's this extension or if you use the tiled view in your Google Meet, which I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so you see right away, this little window pops up. Okay, so your class list goes here. Click the blue uh, question mark below for help. Okay, and so if you click in this white area, that's where your students will be listed. Now, before we even get into the meet, uh, let's talk about the settings. So if you go down to this gear icon, so it automatically checks these three things off. Automatically remove previous meet checks auto save the HTML file, auto save the CSV file, which is essentially just like a, that would open up in Excel. So um, I would recommend just leaving those on, okay, the auto save. But then I am gonna show you how to save um, just in case, because even with the auto save, I've had it before, I've had it happen before where um, I just assume it's gonna auto save and I exit the meeting and, and then I don't have um, that HTMI file especially is what we want to see and I didn't have it okay so I'll show you how to save that okay and then the sort names by so uh, the default was none but I recommend sorting by last name I know for me when I do my attendance uh, because our attendance is it has our students listed uh, alphabetically by their last name uh, I want to be able to just make a quick comparison so I'm going to sort the names by last name as well okay okay and so we can exit out of the settings and uh, let's take care of the settings here okay so your meet start time is set to 9:55, and it is now 9:55. okay so i just entered if i wanted to i can click this okay and that would reset that start time and then there's a reminder here for you remember to to correctly take and monitor attendance all students must be visible in your meet okay so I'm going to show you what that means as students start joining the meeting you'll see them listed here okay and the other thing I want to point out now there is this extra button here this check mark that will basically just hide this window so when I click on the check the window is gone click on it again brings it back up okay and so I'm going to take a second and log in with another device so now we can see um, that the two students are being shown here and so you can either use uh, grid view if necessary okay or uh, sorry the grid view fix extension or if you go to change layout and select tiled and make sure that it has you know the max so I, you know in my one class I have 20 students so I'd make sure it's at 30 okay and then this being off it'll still display all of my students okay so I don't even normally so I usually turn it off with Extensify that grid view fix I don't really need it anymore now that we have this um, option okay and so if I go here I click in the white okay there is um, everyone that showed up in that grid view okay and uh, like so right now they're not showing up because I changed the layout and so Google doesn't include you in that layout but when I used grid view and I had include yourself in the grid because I showed up in this window the meet attendance marked my name down too okay so 
so just I guess depending on what you want so I don't normally want my name in there so I could either check that off or um, don't even use that extension and just use the change layout option okay so there's my attendance and now let's say I'm done with the meeting okay um, it does have auto save on but just to be safe so there's these two options you can save that CSV file or you can um, save the HTML file okay so I'll save the HTML file and let's just leave it in downloads sure okay and so then there it is and so now when I exit it's already saved and we're ready to go okay and it's telling me here that it has auto saved okay and so if I open up this HTML you can see this is what is shown okay so you can see when the attendance was taken so if you notice because um, Alessia was in here she logged in first I was the first to log in but because I didn't hit that grid view extension until later it has me logging in later okay but obviously I was I've been there since the beginning okay and so this is really um, the nice feature about this meet attendance so if I scroll over I can see what time they arrived when they departed uh, how long they were there for and how many entries okay so one entry means that they didn't leave at all right so let's take a look at my class from earlier today okay so I'll blur out the names but you'll get a good way to see what this looks like so here's my class list for today okay you can see this student there was one entry they stayed for only four minutes so this is a problem so because I just started using this I don't think my students realize that I've been using this and so um, they've been good but I think they thought you know maybe they can get away with something today and now I'm seeing what happened here so entered missed a few times um, entered and that was it they took off this student left at 148 148 148 uh, 148 that was the time I started sharing my screen to um, to show them a, an assignment that I wanted to work I wanted them working on okay you can see this student showed up really late and stayed for a minute right stayed for one minute and left Okay, this student, um, you know, so uh, 16 minutes out of the uh, 18 minutes. Okay, so there were two minutes in here where whatever happened and they left um, the meet. They got kicked out, their Wi-Fi dropped, whatever it may have been. Okay, same thing here. A few people, you know, gone for a minute or so. Um, but it does give you a nice view because when you are in, in a meet and you're sharing your screen and... Um, you know especially if you're doing this in class and you're up at the board or you know that kind of thing um, it's very easy to miss students coming in and out okay so this is a nice um, summary to look at and just basically evidence so if you have to call home or um, you know the the administration whoever has to call home um, dealing with attendance there's um, some evidence here for you okay to back you up Okay, so hopefully that helps and I will see you in the next one.